Well, g'day, Kerr nerds. Today we're doing a taste test for Oaxaca. Now, I'm going to do this in two parts. First, I'm going to try the, the ball of cheese. And I've had this sitting in a ripening box um, just in the normal kitchen fridge just to drain if it needed to. I wasn't too sure on, you know, whether it would stay moist or, or what have you. So what I've seen people do on the YouTubes is um, basically pull this apart and see how stringy it is. So it seems to be very stringy and they then put the strings over um, a dish, whether it be some Mexican dish or anything that's melty. This seems to be very stringy. Um, so all the little fibers, I think I've done it right. So that looks good so far. I'm very impressed with this cheese. Um, so, oh, there we go, some more. Let's do some more strings. It's very relaxing, this. There we are. Oh, look at that, beautiful. All right, so very stringy cheese. So let's stop playing with the food and um, let's eat some, shall we? Very nice. It's um, salty. Um, so a lot of salt got absorbed, which is good. Um, I can't, uh, I don't like cheese with a little bit of salt in it. So quite salty. Um, you can definitely taste the lipase that I put into the cheese. You can see that started to convert the, the fats already. Um, so that's uh, a bit of a, a flavor kick, which is good. But all around, it's a fairly mild cheese, very similar to mozzarella, but a lot drier um, and a lot stringier, which is a good thing. Um, so what we're going to do next is um, I'm going to go grab some food and put some of the strings on top and see how well they melt. Righto, so I've just whipped myself up some corn chips, some uh, Tex-Mex chili beef, and I've melted the uh, Oaxaca over the top, the strings. So it melts really well. So as you can see, it wouldn't be string cheese otherwise. So let's have a little bit while it's melted. Maybe it'll taste a little bit different. It's all stuck together. All right, let's not do that bit. Mmm. Oh, it tastes excellent melted, especially when wrapped around this Tex-Mex. Mmm. That is absolutely fantastic. Oh, there we go. Let me just roll that up a little bit. Just like uh, the other day when I made the cheese. No, hang on, let me just break that apart. Mmm. Absolutely delicious, fantastic food. Oaxaca. I would never have thought that this humble little cheese would taste so fantastic. It actually even beats the traditional mozzarella, the cow's milk mozzarella I made. And the good thing is, Oaxaca normally is made with cow's milk in Mexico. Um, so great little cheeses. I've still got uh, this one plus five left, but I dare say they probably won't last very long in our family, that's for sure. Anyway, if you want to see how I made Oaxaca, then click over here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to be informed about more cheesy videos like this one. Now, if you want the uh, kit to make Oaxaca, then you can get all the ingredients. I don't have a kit for it per se, but you can get all the ingredients over at littlegreenworkshops.com.au. Thanks for watching, Curd Nerds, and I'll see you next time.